Sa video na ito ay i-discuss ko kung ano ang arithmetic sequence, paano kunin ang common difference, paano malalaman kung arithmetic or hindi arithmetic, paano isolve ang nth term, at paano isolve ang common difference at first term given ang two terms. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Our topic for today is about arithmetic sequence. But before anything else, let us define what is an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence, there is a common difference between any two consecutive terms. Sa Tagalog, kapag nag-subtract ka ng dalawang magkasunod na number, dapat pareho yung sagot nila. Verify whether the sequence is arithmetic. Letter A, 5, 9, 13, 17. Paano mo malalaman yung common difference nila? Just subtract the second term to the first term. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. 17 minus 13 is equal to 4. Pare-pareho sila ng sagot. Meron silang common difference. Therefore, it is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Letter B. We have here an example, 20, 17, 14, 11. 17 minus 20 is equal to negative 3. 14 minus 17 is equal to negative 3. 11 minus 14 is equal to negative 3. Meron silang common difference, therefore, it is an example of arithmetic sequence. Letter C, tingnan natin kung arithmetic sequence din ba ito. So, we have... 3, 9, 27, 81. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. 81 minus 27 is equal to 54. Hindi sila pare-pareho ng sagot. Therefore, it is not an arithmetic sequence. Ngayon, meron tayong arithmetic formula. The formula for the nth term is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d where a sub n is the nth term of the sequence. a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence. d is the common difference and n is the number of term. Para mas maintindihan natin, meron tayong example. Find the 20th term of the arithmetic sequence 6, 11, 16, and 21. So, let us find the given. Ang a sub n natin is a sub 20. Ang a sub 1 natin, ano ang a sub 1? Yung pinakaunang number, which is positive 6. Then, our common difference is 5. Bakit 5? Kasi 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. 16 minus 11 is equal to 5. 21 minus 16 is equal to 5. Then, ang number of term natin is 20. So, just substitute the values into the formula. We will get a sub 20 is equal to 6 plus the quantity of 20 minus 1 times 5. Then, we have a sub 20 is equal to 6 plus 20 minus 1 is equal to 19 times 5. Then, a sub 20 is equal to 6 plus 19 times 5 is equal to 95. So, our final answer is 101. So, the 20th term of this arithmetic sequence is 101. Meron pa tayong ibang example dito. Example number 2. Find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence, negative 19, negative 11, negative 3, and 5. So, para makuha natin ang nth term, gagamitin ulit natin ang formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Ano ang a sub n? Ang a sub n is a sub 12 is equal to negative 19. Saan nakuha yung negative 19? Yung pinakaunang term na negative 19. Plus the quantity of n. Ano ang n? 12. Kasi yun, yun yung hinahanap. Minus 1 times 8. Bakit 8 ang common difference? Kasi negative 11 minus negative 19 is equal to negative 11 plus 19. Bakit naging positive na yung 19? Kasi negative times negative is equal to positive. Kaya, negative 11 plus 19 is equal to 8. So, 8 ang common difference. Next, a sub 12 is equal to negative 19 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 times 8. 
a sub 12 is equal to negative 19 plus 88. So, simplify mo lang yung operation, ang makukuha nating sagot ay 69. So, ang 12th term ng arithmetic sequence ay 69. Paano naman kapag dalawang term lang ang given at kukunin yung first term and common difference? So, medyo mahaba yung solution nito. Example, the fourth term of an arithmetic sequence is 80 and the 12th term is 32. Ang question, what is the common difference and what is the first term of the sequence? So, meron tayong dalawang given dito. Ang a sub 4 natin is 80. Ang a sub 12 natin is 32. So, hindi mo masosolve dahil wala siyang common difference at wala siyang first term. So, paano natin makukuha? So, gamitin natin yung formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Kunin natin yung unang example. So, a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of 4 minus 1 times d. Yung mga red marks dito, yung naka-red na letter, yun yung hinahanap. Then, meron na tayong equation 1 na 80. Saan nang galing yung 80 yung given? is equal to a sub 1 plus 3d. Bakit naging 3d yon? Kasi 4d minus 1d is equal to 3d. So, ito yung equation 1 natin. Hindi pa natin pwedeng kunin yung first term kapag ganyan lang yung equation. So, meron tayong pangalawang equation. So, a sub 12 is equal to a sub 1 plus 12 minus 1 times d. So, ang magiging final answer niya, 32 is equal to a sub 1 plus 11d. Saan nang galing yung 11d? So, 12d minus 1d is equal to 11d. Ngayon, isusubtract natin yung second equation doon sa first equation. So, 80 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3d. Minus, 32 is equal to a sub 1 plus 11d. Subtract natin lahat ng terms. So, meron tayong 80 minus 32 is equal to 48. A sub 1 minus A sub 1 is 0. 3D minus 11D is equal to negative 8D. So, para masimplify natin, 48 is equal to negative 8D. Paano natin matatanggal yung negative 8? I-divide natin ng both sides para makancel yung negative 8. So, ang matitira lang, D. Then, 48 divided by negative 8 is equal to negative 6. Dahil meron na tayong common difference, pwede na natin i-substitute doon sa first equation na 80 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3D. So, 80 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3 times negative 6. 80 is equal to a sub 1 minus 18. So, ngayon, para makuha mo yung first term or yung a sub 1, i-transpose mo yung negative 18, mag-change siya ng sign gamit ang addition property. So, 80 plus 18 is equal to a sub 1. Reviewin nyo na lang kung ano ang addition property of equality. Then, ang first term natin ay positive 98. So, yun nga mga anak -shis. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan. Please don't forget to subscribe at share nyo na rin sa mga kaibigan ninyo. Bye!